Technology is disruptive and new advances even more so. Here to shed light on the impact of the rise of the Internet of Things will have is Eric Jacobson of Accenture. Eric, first off, how will the Internet of Things change how consumers interact with the world around them? We're seeing a lot of changes in how a product is sold. Uh, we ourselves have done some augmented reality with Google's Project Tango uh, and Fiat to show how a new car uh, will look in its home environment. So that's the service side of it. Um, the actual product side, we're now seeing things like connected homes become much more successful. So in that case, it's a product that's in your house and you're engaging with that and perhaps it's uh, predicting what you want. So fully immersive relationships with that technology. And very soon, those relationships will gradually become more and more fluid until you don't actually know that the technology is there. And the knock-on effect for the retail market? First effect is actually going to be in the supply chain, in both the, the retailer, the bricks and mortar, uh, and of course the online. The actual products that you buy um, will soon have more sensors in them. We're starting to see this in consumer electronics. I think in more fashion, that's where we have to look to designers. So it's not the technology industry that's going to push that. It's going to be uh, fashion designers themselves looking at the fast fashion trends. So it's got to be pull from the design and fashion industry, not push from the technology, I would say. Now, is fashion and functionality really compatible? Some of the markets I've talked about, uh, they definitely are. Um, sport, outdoor cycling, etc. The question really is, that's a very good question, is in the, those non-specialist markets. We've seen a lot um, coming up in, for instance, evening wear, um, couture, that type of thing where you can have lights etc and LEDs so subtle changes of colour in clothing but uh, we're not seeing that yet on the high street so I think the jury's still out on that um, and really it's up to designers to think what's possible with this is it broadcasting your emotional state is it communicating with clothing on your friends or is it collecting data somehow and uploading it what is that data what's it used for um, so all of that's needs to be worked out. Do people really want more from their clothes though? For retail, no one really knows yet. I think it's going to take a trend or something uh, that comes up that is going to really catch on. But right now, of course, people just want good looking clothes at the right price point. So what sort of innovation should we expect coming to market over the next few years? I think Google Project Jacquard is an interesting one to watch. So twine that can be woven in and thus you have gestures controlled. So um, let's think about um, maybe taking the smartphone out so much of the user experience. So instead of looking down at your phone, it's your clothes you wear uh, can help you do this. So um, whether it's gesture control or in fact whether it's just sensors in your clothes, you no longer need an app on your phone. Um, so I talked about connected home earlier. So if your clothes know where you are, uh, if your clothes know you're approaching your house, if your clothes know how hot you are, all these things are useful data points. So we should probably think about that type of integration of clothing into bigger systems, into bigger ecosystems. Thanks for watching. For more videos from our new economy, please subscribe.